trimmed out lots of the bits of plastic that were sticking up there that held the or would have held the steering motor in place and the gear. So now I can fit this servo in that I've cut the tags off the side of it. I'm going to fit that in like that using that bit of plastic to help support it. So it's about there. And that will sweep backwards and forwards that way. And we'll use a piece of wire to link it up to the steering um, arm, or whatever it was, that bit. In fact, I'll probably cut a hole in the side here so the wire can come right out to about here somewhere. Or a push rod, as it would be. To give it enough room to flex a bit as the steering turns. So we'll super glue that in place I think. I could hot glue it or I could super glue it. Yeah, something like that. Servo glued in place using super glue and baking powder because baking powder makes the super glue go off like concrete so that's going to be in there pretty rigid All right. just temporarily plugged it all in just so I can see the servo moving. That amount of movement is far too much. So I'll have to use one of the closer in holes on the servo arm so it doesn't move quite so far. In fact, it's gonna to have to be, I don't know if you can see that hole there. That's the full length of the travel. It's only about a centimetre. It's going to have to be right up here somewhere, I think. It's that one, two, about third hole down, I think. And then we'll have a piece of wire coming from there, or push rod from there, cut a hole here, and drill a hole in the side here somewhere for the push rod to connect. Got my wire push rod in there, just a piece of uh, bent paper clip. It's probably a little bit thin, but it will do the job. I think you can see if I jam it, it does bend up quite easily. On the positive side, that will protect the servo because it will be a natural, um, well, natural protection because it bends rather than breaks the servo. Right, what I think I'll do now is cut a hole in the top of here so we can actually put the receiver in the space that's there. But it's still accessible so I can take it out again. There we are, nice hole in the top. I'll screw it all back together now. Cover back on, everything screwed back in place. That battery cover, you might remember, that was screwed from the underside to hold it in place because it was a dummy one. I cut the, uh, well there was a bit that stick, stuck up, 
cut that off, glued it into the casing, drilled a hole through there, so now it's screwing into the same place that it was before. Probably not explaining this very well, but it works anyway. So the battery's in there, steering works, power works, on-off switch works, So handy little chassis running gear to put something else on top of. no grip because they're hard plastic tyres and because it's such a short wheelbase and it's a fixed back axle not a differential when we go forwards and try and turn it tends to keep going forwards still I'm a class that's a success like I said, no idea where the body shell has gone. I've probably used it on something else. But we've now got a radio controlled, hobby grade radio controlled chassis that I can put a body shell on of my choice. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there and you might like subscribe over there